when you get steels, it's this sort of cold industrial material. But when you run it through the forge and you heat the bar and you manipulate it under the power hammer or on the anvil, it just breathes life into it. It's like almost like the metal wants to become alive. It wants to take on these beautiful organic shapes. I grew up in a sort of rural environment on a farm and I'm just inspired by nature. And my sculptures, they're not really meant to go in galleries, they're meant to be outdoors with the natural sunlight pouring through the glass. And I just feel that's what I want to do as an artist, is to make people look into the light. I make them in a massive scale, so my Agapanthus is five metres tall and it gives you a bit of a feeling of Lewis Carroll and Alice in Wonderland and reminds us of when we were kids and just worshipping the beauty of nature. I create my sculptures to be outside, to be in the natural outdoor world. They just need the natural sunlight to come flooding through the glass, to cast pools of light on the floor, and then the colours of the glass pick up the surroundings of the plants and the colours of the flowers nearby. I just want people to look into the light, to cheer them up, to uplift their soul. I'm Peter King and welcome to my world, Wharton Court, where I've been making my sculpture for the past 21 years. Um, we have some old, some new pieces and some old pieces here. There's the Agapanthus, we have seed heads. At the back, there's some more abstract pieces. Um, mementos of my uh, artistic journey, you might say. So I'm very grateful to Bridget Fraser of Artspace, Henley on Thames, who displayed my work for many years. And to Bridget, her, uh, to Lucy, her daughter, who is the curator of the Ordnick Club exhibition. And I'm very pleased to be bringing some work to show you there this year. So eventually, after lots more of that, I'll get to this shape so the flowers close it up. And then the fussy old finicky job of making the little stamens and welding those inside of the flower and then welding a stem onto the flower. So, yeah, repeat that several times, several hundred times, depending on the, depending on the sculpture, and then have the fun part of putting all the pieces together.
So all my sculptures made in steel, which looks rather nice and would rust um, 